So I'm here at Indie Night Film Festival with Dr. David Pryor. David, tell us what kind of medicine do you practice and kind of what brought you out? I practice internal medicine, so I treat all kind of adult illnesses. Mm -hmm. And I'm really interested in this movie. COVID has such a big impact on all of us. And, you know, we're still not completely over it, but right. we're at a different phase now. But it's such an important uh, topic to bring up and especially how it affected uh, a variety of communities, especially the African-American community. Sure. So that's what I wanted you to focus in on. What healthcare disparities, what issues do you find when a disease of this stature or any significant disease comes through or affects communities? How does it affect us? Yeah. Well, COVID really kind of shined a light mm -hmm. on many things we've known for a number of years, right? We've known that there are these inequities in care in minority communities, particularly African-American communities. Uh, and COVID really showed the light of what happens when you live in an area that doesn't have access to care. Mm -hmm. You don't have access to testing early on in, in the pandemic, right? And what is housing? How does housing affect that, right? If mm -hmm. people couldn't isolate if they got COVID, where could they go? They couldn't self-isolate at home. So it was very important for many people who didn't really understand health inequities right. that COVID really shined a light on that. And I think it's really for the benefit of all of us. There are uh, a lot more attention now on health inequities and disparities and a lot more funding going into trying to close these gaps. Sure. What kinds of things do you feel people should be aware of now today? We are three years in. A lot of people have gotten weary. There's a lot of negative press out there about this or that. What do you think are the take homes for a family or someone today with respect to COVID? Yeah, I would say still be vigilant. Mm -hmm. You know, COVID has not gone completely. People are still catching the illness every day, right. uh, but be, you know, be vigilant. And I think it also tells us how do we use the healthcare system? That was one of the big issues here, the mistrust, right? right. The mistrust in the vaccine. Sure. And we obviously know there's a long legacy of the healthcare system not being uh, uh, very kind to African-Americans. But still, right. you know, we're here. We had a lot, many, a lot of African-Americans actually doing research about this vaccine. Yeah. And so I think it's this balance of still trusting the healthcare system. If you are ill, don't be afraid to go into the hospital, get tested, get treatment, sure. um, and just really stay vigilant. Sure. And then the last question, a basic one, but maybe from a negative stance. I don't want to get tested. I haven't been vaccinated. What precautions, though, should I take just given my belief system? Or maybe my doctor told me I couldn't because I have an autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. I still, a couple things, right? Still mask wearing in certain high contact areas. If you're on an airplane, if you're on a train or a bus, it probably makes sense to still wear your mask and protect yourself, right? Still, as we talked about the, the hand washing, all those things. So it's still kind of using your judgment, right? Um, but people are getting back and, and we can't live in in that, that state forever. Right. People are integrating back into the world. So I think it's just kind of, you know, uh, use your best judgment, uh, be cautious in certain situations. And um, again, if you are ill, you feel like, gosh, maybe I'm feeling, you know, not so great, get tested sure. and then look at your options. Absolutely. Thanks so much for joining us. I Thank appreciate you. it. Sure. Thanks. Looking forward. Okay.